Well, this certainly has turned out to be quite an enlightening evening. I don't know about you, but I learned an awful lot tonight. After years of trying to figure it out, I finally understand what the word airhead means. Don't you think? And you, you couldn't order normal food like normal people do. You had to let Rebecca, or Becky as she insisted after the first five minutes, astound you with her gourmet recommendations and her perfect high school French. Well, for your information, I had straight A's in French. I think you would have done anything she told you to. That's ridiculous. I was simply trying to be polite. If she had told you, eat this napkin, that's what we all do in L.A. after a meal, you would have eaten it. I don't believe this. Are you listening to yourself talk? Do you hear what you're saying? You certainly didn't hear a thing I said tonight. You were too busy hanging on to every word that came out of that, that perfectly outlined mouth. That's because you didn't seem too anxious to say much all night. You've saved it all for now. They practically had to drag the words out of your mouth. I think they both thought you had a speech impediment or something. Goat cheese salad and rabbit. It's always good to try something new and different, isn't it? I mean, that's what we came here for, right? And you had to insist on paying half the check. Do you know how many days we could have eaten back in Fresno for $120? Where? At the 7-Eleven? I thought you were the one who didn't want fast food every night. I didn't want to spend a small fortune either. I always thought rabbits were cute little things they had in the pet stores around Easter. I didn't think people actually ate them. Well, I did, okay? I'm sorry. I forgot how you feel about cute little animals. It slipped my mind how much of an idol Bugs Bunny is to you. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Oh, yes, it does. You think there's something wrong with me because I like to watch cartoons. Lots of people like cartoons. I've been known to catch a few myself from time to time. But I've never known anyone over the age of nine who can't miss a single installment of Pee Wee's Playhouse without being grumpy the rest of the week. You knew what you were getting when you married me. Yeah, I sure did. And I went ahead anyway. Maybe you'd like something else. Maybe you'd like a bleached blonde beach bunny like Kevin has. Oh, now we're on to me now. I thought we were psychoanalyzing you. I feel that deep down all artists are the same. I feel we're all on the same cosmic wavelength. Let's just drop the subject, okay? And that dress. It must have taken her hours to squeeze herself into that. I don't know who the hell designed it, but I think it was painted on. Okay, let's just spend the rest of the evening talking about Kevin's wife. Why not? Weren't you absolutely fascinated by her? Nobody else there was because they were all like her. I knew this was a mistake. I knew it. That little voice inside my head said, Barry, this is a mistake. But I didn't listen to it because I thought you'd enjoy a nice evening out at a nice restaurant. A nice evening out? We could have gone to the Sizzlers and had a steak and salad bar and all those shrimp. That's a nice evening out. Why? Why do I let myself into these things? Why? If you don't want to talk about it, fine. We won't talk about it. It's getting cold in here. Could you turn on the heat, please? Take her to see Sergio. He can do miracles. Here we go again. The nerve. Who does she think she is to tell other people how to dress or comb their hair? That, that walking teen magazine. Is that it? Or does it bother you that maybe she has a point? Shut up, Barry. No, you're the one who started this whole thing. Why do you want to stop now? I don't want to talk about it anymore. So we can pick apart Rebecca Johnson all night, but as soon as we start talking about you, the subject's off limits, huh? I said I don't want to talk about it. We can point out all her faults and all my faults and everybody else's faults, but as soon as it comes to your turn, you... Sign up for a rapper, son, what your one fan from your two shows? This foes out the wax and party, people dance, soak up your clothes, what up, sucker? You wanna know why the attitude? I try to be nice, but now I'm in a battle mood. So play the lane, I'm scrolling to the mic stand. I put your head to bed, your chest to rest, and all that, man. Can you understand? Bring an intelligent grand, that's the big end. A double L means more now.